Welcome. In front of me is an Apple Reno 6 Pro, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, obviously, you can see that the phone I have right here is locked, and I could either use the pattern to unlock it that was previously uh, set on this device, or if I close this, it will tell me to unlock it using the Google verification. So, assuming we don't know either of those, we can bypass this. And now, for the bypass, we will need one thing, which is a SIM card with just some kind of pin on it. Uh, so any kind of SIM card will do. And if you have a SIM card that doesn't have a pin, simply pop it into another device, set up a pin on it, go to settings, and then pop it back in here. So uh, I'm gonna take off the case off of this, there we go. And the tray looks to be at the bottom, there we go. So I'm gonna pop it out. There we go. And I'm gonna slap the card on here. Now there's two ways this can go, or that you will be able to achieve this. So the first time around when you pop it in, give it a second and it should show up with this. There we go. So once you confirm the pin, it will unlock and it should... It changes the damn language to Polish, which... Uh, kind of is annoying, but as you can see it does give you this pop-up so What you want to do is hold the pop-up drag it down and it will pull down your notification panel So from here you will tap on settings now right here I will do something that well, it's kind of exclusive to just me Which is uh, I'm gonna go and change the language just so you can actually understand what you're looking at Where's English there we go So there we go, we've changed the language. And uh, as you can see, if I try to back out, uh, it will close it out. So this is for the people that somehow closed their settings. So when you have, uh, when you close the settings to get it back, and this time around when you pop in your pin, it actually won't give you that pop-up. Let's give it a second. There we go. So as you will see, once you pop in your pin, Oh, it actually did give you a pop-up. So there it is. Now, if you don't see that pop-up, uh, the same thing you can do is simply pop out the card when you have the lock screen, once you unlock it, and it should give you then uh, the same thing. But anyway, from here, again, drag it down, go to settings. And from here, we're gonna go down to additional settings, which is, as you can see, you can see it by this, uh, this tiny little icon next to it, uh, basically two circles. Click on it and then at the bottom, the last option is backup and reset. And then again, last option in here is erase all data, factory reset. And from here on, I select erase all data. Again, last option. And we actually have two options here. So we have uh, erase uh, data and remove eSIM profile or erase data but retain uh, eSIM profile. Obviously, that is completely up to you. Uh, whichever one you choose, it won't affect. Uh, like, you can choose either one of them and it will still work. So I'm gonna go with the first one, also remove an eSIM profile, even though I don't have any, it doesn't really matter. And confirm that again by tapping on the red, remove uh, basically data and stuff. And this will begin the factory reset of the device. So this will take about a minute or so, and once it's completed, we should then be greeted with the setup screen again. Uh, but at that point, the device will be fully unlocked, so you can set it up however you want. So I'll let it run and come back once it's finished. Okay, so as you can see, uh, reset has been finished. So I'm gonna go quickly through the setup just to show you that the device is now unlocked. I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi right here. Now, connecting to Wi-Fi is not necessary anymore. Uh, I just did it just so you can see that it is unlocked. Uh, it will basically look for updates and do all that stuff, and once it's finished, 
the only thing you'll see is well, the ability to log into Google account, which is optional now. You don't need to verify anything. So this should be normally the place where you get, or before I had the pattern to verify. And right now we should see, there we go, sign in option for Google, which I can simply skip. And there we go, as you can see, we have now access to the home screen with the device fully unlocked. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.